calling you. What? Mom! I'm sorry, Zachary. Leave me alone. I'm getting up. Mr. Wendell says you'll be expelled if you don't start going to class. Look, I tried to explain to him that you're still developing. You need your sleep. Sleep is an important time for people. It's, it's when all the little cells in your body replenish themselves. I tried to explain that to Mr. Wendell, but I don't think he understood. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Mom. Mom, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. Zachary Barrett, sit down. I got a text. You said not to text in class, right, Ms. McFat person? I mean, Ms. McPherson. So I'm gonna go. Go on then. I've seen a hundred kids like you come through my class before. Enjoy it while you can, Mr. Big Man. Because when you leave this school, your life won't amount to a pile of dog shit. You are not welcome back in this class until you have a note from Mr. Wendell. stupid, Mr. Farty, but when a student fails the same grade three times, we suggest a more specialized... Shit. No, 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 not you. Not you, Mr. Farty. No, no. Hello? I've been here a week, and I've been sent to Mr. Wendell's office three times already. I think it was because of some presentation I did. I gotta get out of here. Surrounded by freaks. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Mexico. Ooh, Mexico. I've never really been, but I'd sure like to go. Everything is so screwed up. School sucks. My mom just cries all the time. I'm gonna kill her boyfriend. I swear to God, one day I'm gonna kill him. My mom's sick. Doctor says she's dying. That's the voice of Babylon talking. Them giving her them toxic chemicals, them called medicine. I bought her kombucha. She's gonna be all right. I love my mom. I love my mom. I mean, are you all right? I can't go anywhere because I have to protect her. My teachers are on my ass all the time. My girlfriend's pregnant. Your girlfriend's pregnant? What are you gonna do? Nothing. She just texted me saying she's getting an abortion. Well, you gotta go with her. It's not up to me. Don't you get what I'm saying? Nothing in my life is ever up to me. Hey, man, be cool. It's just your body that's stuck. In your mind, you can go wherever you wanna go. You can take the big, long road all the way to Mexico. In here, you're free. Free. Like a bird. Shit. 
Zachary Barrett. What a surprise. Aren't you in English? I guess I'm not. I guess I'm right outside your office. Yes, well, I will be with you in a moment. So, uh, boys, keep it down out here. What's with the drum? Just looking for my tribe, man. You ever have social studies with Mr. O'Malley? Nope. He was telling us about initiation or coming of age ceremonies from like Africa or South America or something. And this one tribe, they take these boys out at sunset, the elders, you know? on the chosen day or whatever. They take the boys to the mountain. They sit them down in a line, cross-legged with a bowl between their legs. And just as the sun sets, the elders cut three lines into their foreheads, from ear to ear. Blood pours down their faces and their bodies into the bowl. They have to sit perfectly still, because if they move, if they move, it makes a crooked line, and they're marked for life as a coward. Everywhere they go, people say, there goes that coward. The anthropologist who like studied them or whatever, he went to the morgue. He said they had lines in the skulls. That's how deep they got cut. In other tribes, they gotta hunt a boar or a lion. In this one tribe, they have to hang from hooks stuck into their chest for days. And at the end, if they haven't quit or embarrassed themselves, they're men. Men. Everyone around them knows they did what they had to do. They get a woman, they get land, they get lives of their own, and they're men. These boys, they're 13, 14. If we were in those tribes, we'd be old men with a million grandkids by now. <laughs> but instead, we gotta sit there and listen to old McFat person go on and on about what some main character did to another character. And when we gotta text or piss or go outside for a smoke because we bored out of our minds or we got nothing better to do, when we have to do the things every man should be entitled to do, we gotta sit there, raise our hands, and ask for permission. So what are you gonna do? Dude, your girlfriend's rich. Shut up. Allison! Allison! Zach, I told you not to come here. I want to marry you. What? I want to marry you and have this baby and be a family. Well, I don't want to marry you and I don't want to have this baby with you. What about what I want? What about what I want? I just asked you to marry me. You live with your mother. My mom likes kids. Your mom likes kids. We could live with her. Your mom is on welfare. What about Trina? I said if you had this baby, I'd break up with her. Trina's a slut anyway. Trina's my best friend. I said I would break up with her. Allie! Everything okay? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, yesterday you said if I had your baby, you'd kill yourself. I changed my mind. What if you change your mind again? Allison. Grow up, Zach. Allison!
really hurts. Oh. I, I can't believe you just did that, man. That was deep. Yeah? Did you see the bone? I think so. It's a little bit of white. 